Hey everyone, my name is Junaid and I'm a graduate data analyst working for a financial services firm in central London. We're back again with another video and today I'll be taking you along with me in a day in my life. Today I was working in the office, so I'll wake up anywhere from 4.30am. I had to get into the office by 8am, so I woke up a little earlier than I usually would. My whole day today was full of a lot of meetings with senior stakeholders and clients and project managers. I also had a meeting to attend today with members of the executive board. I also had to create a business case for a digital reporting data project that I'd been working on. For a while now, I attended data sprints in the West Midlands with clients, software developers, software engineers and data engineers and data scientists. And I'll be uploading a video on that. So make sure you're subscribed if that's something you're interested in. That project, the digital data reporting project, that's been running for quite a while and it's cost a lot of money. We secured funding. I secured funding initially for 1.3, just under $1.3 million. And so a lot of money has been pumped into it. And with that amount of money, you do need to regularly update investors and stakeholders on how the project's running and its progress. Once I'm ready, before leaving the house, I'll make sure I read through any emails and messages that may have come in overnight from colleagues or clients, because we have a lot of ongoing projects flying around. So just in case I've received anything from an overseas client or a colleague or a team who's worked on something for me overnight or the night before, I'll make sure I read through anything that's come in because usually if something comes in overnight that will require attention first thing in the morning. And in this case, I had an update from one of the teams in the organization who had acquired some research I'd requested from them. And so that's the first thing I'll take a look at when I get into the office. I'll leave the house around 6.30 because it takes about an hour and 20 to get into the office door to door. My commute is my least favorite part of my day. The London Underground is far from my favorite mode of transportation. During my commute, I'll usually read something on my Kindle, but today I was really, really tired, so I just stood up the entire way. Once I get into the office, I'll settle in, take a look at the research that's waiting for me in my inbox, and I'll start prep for a meeting I have with a client later that morning. In that meeting, I'd be presenting progress on their project. So I'll open the SQL warehouse I created for this project, the final report file and any reference files I'm using, any research reports, analyst reports, and any reference files, like I said, so I can demonstrate to the client what the data is showing. I'll prep for that meeting until we have our morning stand-up with all the other analysts, economists, and researchers. For the first half, we'll go through what everyone's working on, updates on progress, and whether anyone has any blockers. For the second half of that meeting, we had project regulators come in and present to us about project regulation and our remit in the marketplace. When you work in finance, there's a whole host of financial and economic regulations you have to comply by. And it's often the case where projects can overlap in their remit. So when a piece of my work extends into another remit or has the risk of overlapping a financial regulation, then we'll have specialists come in and assess the validity and boundaries of our project. Straight after that meeting, I'll head into the meeting with the client for whom I was prepping earlier on that morning. For them, I'll demonstrate the progress that I've made on their request. I'll outline any issues I've had, any issues I've encountered along the way. And for this particular project, I'll outline the analysis I intend on conducting and what that analysis will show, confirm with them that's all right. That meeting will take me to 11 a.m. and from then till about lunch, I'll get started with some deep work. For me, deep work usually looks like working on any ad hoc tasks, publishing a weekly market monitoring report, which we provide to investors. And today I was providing some clients with some values and parameters that they'd asked for. For example, a client had asked for market cap, net asset value, discount rates and share price for a select few public limited companies in a certain industry. I had to provide those values and then calculate the differences between some of the company's peers. This type of request usually has a quick turnaround, often a couple of days, depending on how difficult it is to acquire the information. Other projects like the digital data reporting project I'm working on can go on for months or even years. At 1 p.m. I'll head out for lunch. Now lunch could be with a client, lunch could be with colleagues if they're in the office, could be with my brother. He also works in London, about a 15 minute walk away from my office. During lunch, I'll eat and definitely go for a walk to stretch my legs. When I get back from lunch to my desk, I'll have an issues log that I'll take a look at to work on. For the market monitoring weekly publication that I publish, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll have seen that I've been working on, or we've been working on automating certain sections of that report. And as with any automation task, when you use Python to automate 
something. There undoubtedly stem a number of issues. And so we've been keeping an issues log for any issues that come up with the Python script. And I'll review those issues weekly and tweak the script to fix any, any issues that may have arised, any issues that prevent the script being used. Those have all been documented. So I'll do my best to fix whatever I can. Some of us use Jupyter Notebook, other teams in the organization use Visual Studio Code. So depending on the software, there are some overlapping issues as well. At 2.30, I'll have another meeting with a new client. We met with them recently in person. I went to their offices and we spoke about how best we could help them with the issues they were experiencing and improve some of their processes. I'll end up spending about an hour with them and different people in their team, make notes for their requirements to make sure I can relay them to the rest of the team when I'm done, especially with a new client. There's often you provide them with a piece of analysis, a piece of work, and it's often they'll come back and ask for something extra. I had a dashboard I was working on for a small team within the organization. They liked it so much that they asked if we could create them a new dashboard every single month. So after that meeting with the new client, after that's concluded, I'll consolidate all of my meeting notes, set up the next meeting and send them a follow-up email. From then till the end of my day, I'll have a quick one-to-one -one with my manager just discussing everything I've been working on that week, any issues I've had. We've been working on a piece of work which, for which quality assurance has fallen behind quite a bit. So I'll raise that as an issue. And then before logging off, I'll do some prep for meetings and a stakeholder presentation I have the following day. I also had a training session to attend the following day by the ICAEW regarding AI and data analytics, AI and analytics and They'd sent some files, they'd pre-sent some files beforehand that we had to download a piece of software, we had to download a plugin, we had to download, and so I'll get ready for that training session as well. Once I'm happy, everything's locked off for the day, I'll head home. And there you have it. A day in my life working as a data analyst in the office in London. That's all for this video. I hope it was useful. If it was, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I have another video coming out about a business trip, the business trip that I took with clients, stakeholders and data engineers and software engineers in the West Midlands. And I'll be releasing that soon. So keep an eye out for that. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What other videos you'd like to see? Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.